Hi guys, let's move on to the next question. Question number seven. Uh, a graph question. So I make graphs one in a video so that you have time for you to draw, plot, understand. That's why I will be making one video, one graph per video. Perfect. So let's move on. Question seven says the marks obtained by 120 students is given in in a test in mathematics are given 0 to 10 10 to 20 and some frequencies are given draw an ojai so first thing for an, drawing an ojai i need cumulative frequency let me change the thickness of my pen and also the color one second perfect so this is 5 this is 14 14 plus 16 30 30 plus 22 52 that's 78 88 96 107, 113, 117, 120. Perfect. Let's check this total as well. Uh, 15, 21, 23, 29, 38, 48, 50, and this is 120. Perfect. 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. Uh, what do I have to plot? The first one will be, I hope you remember the 7 will be 0 and 0. This is next is 10 with 5, next is 20, 14. The last column that I make is for my reference. It is not mandatory for you to make it. 50 with 78, 60 with 96, 70 with 107, 80 with 113, 90 with 117 and 100 with 120 perfect so have they given me a scale already oh, no they haven't given me a scale so i need to figure out my scale so let's look at this uh, for marks i have to go from 0 to 100 so then i will have to start with 0 no kink because i'm taking the first one as 10 20 each unit is 10 40 50 60 70 80, 90, and 100. This is my x axis. What have I plotted? I have plotted marks. So let me write marks here increasing in this direction. Next, on the y axis, I have to go up to 120, which means I will have to take intervals of 10. No option. This is 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. This is my y axis. What have I plotted here? I have plotted cumulative frequency of number of students. I hope you realize I have very less space the way this graph has been scanned. You will write it much better. Perfect. And what remains for me is to write the scale. Let's, I'll write the scale later. Let me start drawing the Ojai first. So 0 with 0. Next is 10 with 5, which is exactly between 0 and 10. Next is 20 with 14. So 14 would mean 4 small lines above 10. Next is 30 with 30. And this is here. Next is 40 with 52. So that's two small lines above 50 next is 50 with 78 so that's eight small lines above 70 next is 60 with 96 so that's six small lines above 90 next is 107 so that's seven small lines above 100 next is 113 that's three small lines above 110 Next is 117, that's seven small lines above 110, and then the last one is one. Next, it's an ojai, which means I use freehand to join these plotted points. Perfect. So it has to be done slowly so that you get a smooth curve. Please note. Uh, Drawing on a pen on software is very difficult. It's difficult compared to drawing on a real pen on a paper. So your graph, your curve should look much smoother than mine. Anyway, 
So let's look at the question. The question says uh, find the median. Now n is equal to 120. So median will be 120 upon fourth term, which is equal to the 30th. Not four, two. My mistake. Sorry, this is median, not quartile. The 60th term. My mistake will be divided by two. 60th term. So where is my 60th term? I am looking at the 60 students, right? So 60 students go up to here. And I think this is exactly five lines above 40. Perfect. Yes, this is five lines above 40. Like I've said, individual uh, ojais may look different. I'm putting an arrow. I started from the y axis and I reached x axis. This is 45. So this is 45 marks. Perfect. So 60th term is 45 marks. Um, I have drawn this line using freehand. You will use a scale for drawing this line. Perfect. Number of students who scored more than 75% marks. Oh, how many marks was this test for? The test was for 100 marks. So 75% marks will be equal to 75 marks. So since I've plotted marks on the y also on the x-axis, so I go from x-axis and this is the first line. Perfect. 75. So this is again this is the where I reach. I, this time I am starting from the x-axis. Please note I am drawing a freehand line. You will draw a perpendicular line using a scale. So I started from the x-axis and I have reached the y-axis. So this is one line above, one small line above 110. One small line above 110. So I reached here. And this point is 111. One, one. Now, so are 111 one, one students scoring above 75 or 111 one, one students scoring below 75? Yes, they are scoring below 75. So, if I want to know number of students who scored more than 75, which means the number of students who's more than 111, one, one, which means 120 minus 111, which will be equal to 9 students. So nine students scored more than 75% mark. Remember, we call this also a less than Ojai. So anything number which is less than this is what is counted here. If I want more than this, then I subtract it from the total number because this is the cumulative frequency. Did not pass. So my third part is number of students who did not pass in the test if the pass percentage was 40. So what we are looking at is students who scored less than 40 mark. So I start from 40 and I reached 40 uh, and I reach here. So this is here from the Ojai. Again, I am starting from X. So arrow going here and this is two lines above 50, which means this is 52. I reach here. This is 50. So how many students fail since this is less than 40 which means we are looking at the number which comes which is 52 students did not pass. Well, that's a lot of students out of 120 students if 52 students did not pass uh, the, student, the teacher as well as the student need to figure out what was wrong with the question or with the students or with the teacher or something else. Anyway, let's look at the last part of the question. The lower quartile. A lower quartile is n upon fourth term. In this case, 120 upon fourth term, which is the 30th term. So where does 30th term lie? 30th term lies here. So from y axis, I draw a perpendicular onto the ojai i started from y which is why i put an arrow here and i reach the x axis and i reach 30 on the x axis therefore lower quartile which is equal to q1 is 30 marks please note units are important what remains for me is the scale on x axis i have plotted 2 centimeter 
is equal to 10 marks and on y axis I have plotted 2 cm is equal to 10 students. Perfect. Thank you so much. Take care. I'll see you with the next video.